Hi everyone, I'm Mori Shankar Nath and today in this video I'm going to show you how to put one of the most important and the easiest feature in your application that is the dark mode feature. Now this light mode is old and boring right but as we switch to dark mode okay this looks a bit more fun and in every application nowadays this feature is a compulsory so I'm going to show you how to add this feature using native base in your deck native application so we can do it very quickly using the native base and as you can see even the model is of dark mode when we have switched to dark mode and we have when we have switched to light mode then the model is in light mode right and we are even switching that status bar based on the modes of our application so we are also able to delete of course and we are able to add the task as well so i'm going to show you how to tell this cool application and you will be able to apply the same logic for any of your future application so stay tuned and uh, have a look at the old video so first of all as you can see this is the native base theme setup that i've already done uh, and uh, i've shown this one in my one of my previous videos also and if you want uh, to just uh, start from here then you can just uh, pull the uh, pull the code from my github repo i'll provide the link uh, to this github repo in the description if you want to you can just start from here or uh, you can also have a look at my earlier video and uh, go through it, work on it. You will learn how to add the native base theme in your application and also how to add the fonts. Whichever fonts you want, you can put the fonts here and you will be able to use the fonts in your whole application using native base. So first, as you can see, uh, we are doing nothing. We are just displaying this demo component, which only has a text with the demo written in it. So we are not doing anything till now. The first thing that we will do is uh, just uh, take this status bar and uh, we want to put it inside the demo so that we'll be able to work with it you know make it dynamic based on our uh, uh, mode of the application maybe it is a dark mode so we want to put the status bar inside our project inside our demo component so that we'll be able to change the style of the status bar based on the mode that we are applying it to maybe dark mode or the light mode so for that we are putting it inside here so we'll be setting this up later let's uh, first do this and uh, will not be requiring the status bar here and we can save and it's working uh, just like before we have changed nothing we've just taken the status bar from here to this file and uh, we've changed nothing else so now since we have done this now we'll add some styles and uh, we'll change the theme a bit and add a few components in it so for that i want you all to go to the native base docs and check we have gone through the customizing fonts in my earlier video now we want to look at this customizing components so how to customize components exactly so as you can see these components we are using a color mode value here and based on the color mode we are able to set the color for dark mode or light mode so this is how we are going to set up our application so that all the components are dynamically changeable based on our color mode so first we'll copy these components of course we won't be requiring the button i think we'll not be using the button but let's just copy it for now and we can remove the button okay i'll be putting it just under the colors okay We'll be removing the button component if we require it later then we can add it of course and we'll be changing the styles a little bit but before changing the styles i want to add a few more colors that i'm going to use in this project so since we are using dark mode then we really want some dark and light colors in it right so i've added this four colors here uh this is uh, these are actually known as tokens if you want to look at it you can find it in the native base docs so 100 blacks, 100, 200, 300, and 800. I've added all these four colors. And we'll really be working with these and the primary colors mostly. Since there's already these primary colors that we have set up earlier. But if you want to add more colors or work with different colors, you're free to do so. 
you know, please explore and find which colors your application looks the best with. So that's how it will be really fun for you. Okay. Now for the heading component, we want the color we don't want to change the font weight. We just want the we just want to change the color. So if the color mode is dark, then we want the color to be black dot hundred. And uh, otherwise, we want it to be primary dot five hundred if it's in light mode. And this is this will be the base style. Okay. Now we also want to add a default props. So for that, you can check here again below this option. As you can see, you can provide default props here also. So what is the default props exactly? So inside the text component or button component, you always go for color or uh, font size or font family directly, right? That's what native base allows us to do. You can directly provide the props in the component only. So this is the default props that you can provide. Suppose you want a font weight or font color, uh, like color or font weight or font family, then you can just add this default props here. And uh, you can provide, say I want the size to be, size of the heading to be Excel. And I want the font family to be, say, what do we have here? Let's say Mount Semi Bold. We want the font family to be Mount Semi Bold. Then we can just copy it here and paste it. And this is how we'll be able to work with default props as well as base style for the dark mode and light mode. Now we also want to add text because there will be text right in our application. So we want the default props and a base style for that as well. We'll be adding a base style of. Of course, it will be dynamic just like before and we'll be using the color mode value and uh, this is the arrow function and we'll come to an object which will return the color and all the base style that we are dynamically setting up. You can add anything, you can add a font or you can change the font weight or the font family based on the dark mode or light mode as the user changes it also. But I'm not going to do all these things. If you want, you can test everything and just uh, have fun with it. You know, you will be able to work with it uh, in a various, in many applications, uh, in all the applications that you are doing now or in the future, you'll be able to implement this easily. So I'll be using a black dot hundred here and a black dot three hundred here. So why I'm using these colors is I've already tested uh, which looks good. Of course, yeah, you can make it look better with your choice of colors. I would like, to, I'd love to actually look at the choice of your colors. So yeah, you can comment what colors did you use, what looked more better. If something, I can also uh, take uh, notes from them. I'll be using the default props of size MD. And uh, what do we want more? Maybe we we'll take the font family as um, let's use small regular. Okay, we'll use the mount regular and now I'll be putting some other things maybe. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to see all the sizes from here so that it is more visible exactly which sizes we are using. So I'll be pasting this as well. And I uh, want to add another um, component, just one more component I want to add and that is a divider that we'll be using in our application. Uh, so I'll just put it here at the top. You can just copy this one. Nothing uh, much. I'm just uh, changing the color here also based on the color mode. So that's all the setup that we require in the uh, index.js of the theme. So that's all the requirement for the custom theme. Now we'll be going to the components and uh, build our application really. So to set up the dark mode, First, of course, we need to use the color mode, right? Since we have used the color mode here to set up our colors based on the color mode, if it is dark than this, if it is light mode than this. So we need to set this up here also. So how to do that exactly? So we have everything in the setup in the web. We we, the native base docs provides everything related to it. So we just go to making components dark mode compatible and there's options. There's many options that you can choose from actually. So 
as you can see this is there's this option there is this option using the use color mode value and uh, there's this option also as you can see for button you can do this so there's a lot of options for you to choose and work with and uh, you know really explore a lot in this uh, native base so what i'll be using is uh, color mode only since we have already used it uh, in the theme uh, theme index file first we'll be importing the color mode here on the uh, color mode from native base and this gives us two important things one is color mode that we'll be using here and another thing that we'll be using later is a uh, toggle color mode that we'll use to toggle the color mode from dark to light or light to dark so first we'll use the color mode so we've got the color mode now we'll style and uh, make the component first of all let's make the bar style compatible with color mode so the, if the color mode equal to, equal to dark then light content so that the status bar components are visible this wi-fi and everything is visible and if it's light then dark content uh, so now it is in the dark so we should be in the light mode right now so to, you can check it actually so to check if uh, your current application is in light mode or dark mode of course that will depend on your preferences in your mobile phone or your cell phone uh, be it uh, if my iOS or Android so whatever the preferences uh, is there for your default uh, settings that application will be using that only if you're not doing if you're not changing anything so you can check actually as you can see we are console logging the color mode and it is coming as light so the application is in light mode right now of course we are going to switch it to dark mode and we'll be able to switch it back to light mode it will be really fun okay so we are able to so we made this status bar dynamic already right okay so now uh, uh, in the component file in the component uh, folder we are going to create a header okay let's just create a header and uh, what uh, we will be putting an in index.js file there of course uh, rnfe and we will be changing everything to header okay and uh, save and this prettier uh, problem is coming again it's disabled picture for the entire file and it's fine now okay uh, i'd like to use it uh, make it a uh, not as default export but uh, in this way okay so that in the component file we'll be able to uh, create an index.js and uh, this is how we standardize things you know uh, rather than exporting it in a default way we export it uh, this way so that we'll be able to export it from the components file okay why am i doing this because this makes it better to use this is the standardized way of doing uh, this in a project uh, right now we are using only a few files so it doesn't matter that much but at later time if your project is big enough then uh, it will be a problem so uh, to exactly know where it is coming from or uh, your project file uh, will become really become really coagulated lots of imports here and there so it's better to do it this way you understand as we as you go through more projects be able to understand these things easily so we have disabled this here also so we'll just import this uh, here let's just import it from here uh, we've already imported don't need to put it from here here also it's available uh, yes okay we are going to put some styles here that's not much we're just going to put a container and uh, that's one this will do and we're going to use this style here we're going to style this component so yes uh, this is if you want to put se uh, several styles like from the styles file and you want to put some styles uh, some inline styles as well so you can do it using this array uh, array type of thing so you can just uh, put this and then an object so we want the background color we want the background color but we want the background color to be dynamic right based on the dark mode and light mode 
so what you can do is we will be creating a bg color variable which will change based on the color mode okay so we'll be using the color mode again if color mode is equal to dark then okay so we can easily do this like this and uh, now our background color is also dynamics as you can see here we are in the light mode we have already checked that here it is light mode and in light mode we are providing this color and this is coming okay so now we will set the header okay in the header we'll be providing the of course the switch to change it to dark mode or light mode based on our requirement based on our need based on our application so <clears throat> we'll be going to the header file and um, yeah i'll be creating a styles file as well and uh, uh, i'll be copying the styles from my repository you can ju uh, just check the styles it's uh, nothing too much complex i've just used the dimensions provided by react native to get the height and width of the screen so that i can use them to make our uh, application to make our screen more responsive based on different uh, phone sizes so what i have put i've just created a header container you know, which whose width is um, the screen width and height is 0 0.1 that means 10 percent of the height and i've uh, put the justify content as space between and align items are centered so that will <clears throat> put everything in the center and uh, i put the padding horizontal from both sides to be 20. so that's all i've done here so we'll go to the header right now header component and uh, i'm going to use an a stack of course because I want uh, uh, exactly two things in the header. One is the header, of course, uh, that will be the heading of the application, and one is the switch. So I just want to put two things, and uh, it can be easily achieved with the eight step, which is which is the horizontal stack. Okay, using the horizontal stack, you can put components in the horizontal layout rather than the vertical layout because uh, the default layout for mobile application is vertical layout, whereas in the web it is uh, horizontal layout okay so in the a stack style of course we have created the styles dot header container it's coming already okay and what we want to add is just heading we'll import it from native base remember we have already added the base style and default props for this heading component so we're just going to use it like that only we don't need to do anything here it just makes it so much easier for us to work with application and uh, we will just make it standard for every component that we are going to use we may not remember what we use in dif different component but by using the theme we really know exactly what we used and that is what the default will be now we are uh, going to use the switch component um, you can check the switch component from the native base just go below and here's the switch component you can also search from here no problem so switch component has a uh, various properties that we are going to use this is a self closing tag and um, we are going to add a off track color equal to black okay. we are going to put an off track color of black dot 800 off track color means when the switch is off what should be the color of the track so that is uh, I provided black dot 800 <clears throat> Similarly, we are putting three more colors. On track color will be primary dot two hundred. On thumb color, so the <clears throat> on thumb color will be black dot eight hundred. Off thumb color black to, uh, primary dot two hundred. So I put these things. Now, since uh, we want to make it dynamic based on what mode is it in, so we are going to again use the color mode. And we are also going to use the toggle color mode to create toggle the color mode based on the switch using the switch. So <coughs> um, we have got the color mode and we have got the toggle color mode from the use color mode hook. And uh, <coughs> now we are going to create a variable that is const is dark mode equal to color mode equal to dark. So that we know if uh, our application is in dark mode or not. So right now, of course, this will give us false. Uh, 
Watch this will give us false as you can see. False is coming. So we are in the light mode right now. <coughs> and now uh, we are going to use the switch to switch the color uh, mode to dark or white. So for that we can there's a property called default is checked here and default is checked only if it is in dark mode. So when sh it should be checked, when should be the uh, switch be checked or switch be on when it is in dark mode. So that's what we have created here. And what should be the switch value? That is also is dark mode. So on value change property is given here. And using that, we can just let's create a function that will run when this value changes. So on value change, let's create a toggle switch function. Okay, this function will run whenever our value changes. So whenever our value changes, we'll just call the toggle color mode. As simple as that. So now, as you can see, everything is coming really good. See, as you can see, when we switch this color off, switch this color mode off, switch uh, this off, then our light mode is on. When we switch this on, our dark mode is on. And our status bar is also working really good. So I've set all these colors and tested all these colors and then came up with this solution. If you want to, you can really explore with all the colors you want, make it look really awesome with your choice of colors. And I would love to see what you make, you know, just uh, comment in the section, comment section and tell me which colors did you really love working with in the dark mode and in the light mode. It will be really nice. And uh, yeah, as you can, uh, as you remember, we also added a divider component just to show you that you can add so many components here, base styling, base style and default props based on the color mode. <clears throat> so we're going to add the divider also here, divider component also here. And uh, as we have already set the base style and uh, default props based on the color mode, then we are able to see change the, the, it changes color based on uh, the color mode. So this is our dark mode and this is our light mode. See how cool this is. And you can create this in any application as easily as this. You can just, if you don't want the switch, and you want uh, just a burger menu and uh, option there of dark mode and light mode, you can do that also. It's the same function, just this toggle color mode is required. So this toggle color mode, if you run, then this will toggle your application from dark mode to light mode and light mode to dark mode. Only there's other options as well uh, in the native base. If you check the customizing components or sorry, make component, making components dark mode compatible, then there's other options to do the same you can use, use color mode value so this is the dark mode and this will be in the light mode you can use the color mode value for variant also so as you know buttons have different variants solid outline ghost those are the variants for a button if you check a button then you will be able to understand so you can change the variant based on the color mode and this will switch also based on the color mode whatever you have given so as you can see color scheme color, color scheme teal will be when the application will be in dark mode and uh, uh, this one will be when the application will be in light mode. Similarly, variant solid in dark mode and uh, outline in light mode. So we'll be working uh, with all these things in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned and uh, you know really explore all the colors that you can work with dark mode and try to look into it. So uh, we'll be going to the rest of the tasks in the in the next video. So in the next video, we'll be creating all the other things and really um, I want you to look forward to it. And uh, yeah, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I'm uh, doing these videos for all of you guys to enjoy and really love what uh, you are doing. So yeah, keep coding and uh, stay happy.